hello everyone and welcome to my channel make it yourself today we are going to make these strawberry appliques uh, you can turn them into bookmarks using this pattern of strawberry as well as the leaf branch uh, you can also use them for your other projects and i do have a video on how to turn them into strawberry earrings so you can check that out as well or you can turn them into a keychain so uh, details related to the yarn and uh, hook size and other details will be available in the description so do refer the description as well we are starting off with the green yarn and making a slip knot and then we are going to chain 10 so make a chain of 10 1 2 3 four five six seven eight nine and ten so we are going to turn this into a ring so we are going to slip stitch to the first chain and it is into this ring that we are going to make our stitches so we're going to start off by a chain of three this chain of three we will be considering this as our first double crochet and the next double crochet will be under this ring so make this second double crochet then we're going to chain one so again we're going to make two more double crochets and then chain one so for this round we are going to make sets of two double crochets so overall we will be making that is in total we'll be making a, uh, I mean we'll be making 12 sets and each set will have two double crochets and the sets will be separated by a chain one so continue making these uh, two double crochets followed by a chain of one until you have a total of 12 sets that is 24 double crochets so here we have completed 11 sets and I'm going to do the last set of two double crochets uh, so chain one and make the last set and then chain one again and we are going to slip stitch this to our first stitch so our first stitch is a chain of three so into the third chain we are going to insert our hooks under these uh, two loops of this chain and once your hook is under these two loops we are going to pull this yarn through it and then make a slip stitch uh, now we are going to chain one and pull the yarn tightly to make a knot and then trim off the green yarn so after this we are going to change the color to either pink or red here I am using a pink yarn you can use red as well so make a slip knot and this slip knot we are going to uh, pull it under the chain one space so here we have a tail yarn so just turn your work so that the tail yarn is nearer to the chain one space and now pull this uh, slip knot under this chain one space and then we are going to chain three so this chain of three will be considered as the first double crochet and while we are doing making the stitches we are also making sure that the tail yarns are uh, placed in such a manner that we can make our stitches on top of it now make two double crochets into the same space and for this round the we will have groups of three or sets of three double crochets 
So into the first space we made three double crochets. Now move to the second space that is the chain one space and make three more double crochets. And similarly we will again move to the next chain one space and make three more double crochets. So we will continue this pattern in all the chain one spaces till we uh, reach the first stitch and since in a previous round we have um, 12 chain one spaces so we will also for this round we will be making uh, 12 sets of three double crochets. So by the end of this round you should have a total of 12 sets of these three double crochets. So here we are almost at the last space and we are making three double crochets here and once we are done we will be slip stitching to the first stitch and the first stitch is a chain of three and so we'll be slip stitching to the third chain of the first stitch so just pull the yarn under this chain and make a slip stitch now we'll be working only in the space between the sets so to reach to the space we will be slip stitching over these two stitches here so make a slip stitch over this double crochet and another over the other double crochet and now move to the space between the two sets and under this space we are going to first make a slip stitch and then we are going to chain three so this chain three will be considered as the first double crochet so make two more double crochets in the same space and now move on to the next space and make three double crochets into the next space So in this one also we will be making three double crochets in the spaces between the sets but here we are going to first make five sets and then we are going to skip one space. So here I have completed this third set. This is the fourth set. So each set has three double crochets. So this is the third set sorry this is the fourth set and now we are moving on to the fifth set so after this fifth set so make uh, three double crochets into this uh, fifth space So one double crochet, two double crochet and the third double crochet. Now we will be skipping as you can see we have here one, one, two, three, four, five sets. So skip the next space and then into the very next space we are going to make again three double crochets. So on the other side that is after skipping the space again we are going to make five sets. So repeat this pattern of three double crochets until you have a total of five sets on the other side also. You can turn your work at this point so that you can fold it this way and then continue to make your uh, double crochets.
so once you are done with the five sets on the other side as well then you are going to skip the last space so if you see there will be this space here available we are going to skip that and then we are going to slip stitch to the third chain of our first stitch so insert your hook under these two loops of this third chain and pull the yarn through it and then make a slip stitch so again we are going to move to the space between the sets so slip stitch through the first two stitches and then slip stitch under the space so after the slip stitch make a chain of three so this will be the first double crochet and so here you can see our three rows here are done and <clears throat> now we are on the row number uh, row around number four so for this round the pattern is similar to what we did before the only difference is instead of uh, five sets we are going to make four sets and then we are going to skip one space so we will keep decreasing until at the end we have just one set so for this round we are going to make four sets so this is the second set and now we'll be making the third set and then we'll be making the fourth set so after this fourth set we will be skipping one space and jumping on to the next space and so here we have four sets here one two three four now skip the next space and then move to the uh, other space and then make three double crochets here as well so on the other side also we will have four sets and then we will skip the last set and make a slip stitch So we have completed four sets on the other side and we'll be skipping this last space and then slip stitching as usual to the third stitch, uh, third chain of our first stitch and after the slip stitch we'll be slip stitching over the next two stitches also. So slip stitch over the next two stitches and slip stitch under the space and then make a chain of three which is our first double crochet and for this round we will be making uh, three sets and then we will be skipping a space and make three sets on the other side as well and then skip one space and do a slip stitch so this is our first uh, side of the strawberry and this is the second set which we are working on now we will move to the third set so make the third set of three double crochets and now we have three here so skip the next space and make three sets on the other side as well and now make a slip stitch after skipping the last space so make a slip stitch to the first stitch and after making the slip stitch 
we will be making the slip stitch over the next two stitches and then we'll make the slip stitch under the space and make a chain of three which is our first double crochet make two more double crochets in the same stitch and for this round we will be making two sets and then we will be skipping a stitch so two sets skip the stitch and make two sets on the other side as well this is the first set and this is the second set on the other side and now we will be skipping the last space and we will slip stitch to our first stitch as usual and then we will be so here you can see we are almost at the uh, end of the strawberry pattern so we have one more round to go and so we will be slip stitching over these two stitches and into this middle space we'll be making another slip stitch and make a chain of three which is the first double crochet and make two more double crochets into the same space so for this round we will just have one set that is three double crochets and directly we will skip this stitch and move to the exact uh, opposite on the other side the space will be working on that so make three double crochets in that space as well and then make a slip stitch to our first set so here we'll skip this and make a slip stitch to our first double crochet or the chain of three so make a slip stitch here and since this is the last uh, round we are going to chain one now and then pull the yarn tight and trim the yarn off and if you we will be stitching this tail yarn in so if you want to use a needle do leave a long tail yarn and using a needle you can stitch the tail yarn into the existing stitches I am using a crochet hook since I left a shorter tail yarn and I'm just pulling the tail yarn through some of the existing uh, stitches and once I feel that the tail yarn is hidden and is secure enough I am going to trim it off so here our strawberry pattern is ready and now since I'm trying to turn it into a keychain or a bookmark I am trying to add a stem and some leaves so make a slip knot and so this is the uh, mid stitch so here we are going to insert a hook so exactly where we folded the strawberry from there we are going to pull this through there we are going to pull this uh, slip knot and then we are going to chain five and after making a chain of five I'm going to connect this chain to the other side so on the exact opposite side this is a space and right below the space the stitch which comes I'm going to pull this make a slip stitch and through the space so make a slip stitch here and now I'm going to chain one and turn the work and over this chain into the first three chains I am going to make a slip stitch so into the first chain make one slip stitch into the second chain make another slip stitch and into the third chain make a slip stitch and when you are almost at the middle of the chain 
you can now chain based on the length that is required for you so if you're planning to make a bookmark this length could be the length of the book so after that for a leaf we will be chaining four first and now you are going to slip stitch to the fourth chain from the hook and while doing so we were creating here a small ring and this is the center of the ring here and it is into the space that we are going to make the stitches of the leaves but before that we are going to chain one and turn our work so we will be working on the leaf from this direction so for the leaf first make two single crochets the chain one that we just did will be considered as our first single crochet so make two single crochets after that make two half double crochets so this is the second half double crochet then make three double crochets so this is the first double crochet this is the second double crochet and this is the third double crochet now we are going to make a chain two pico so for that chain two and into the base two loops here insert your hook and pull the yarn through it and make a slip stitch and now make another three double crochets so this is just the exactly opposite of what we did before the pico so make three double crochets and followed by two half double crochet and then make three more single crochets so make three more single crochets here So you can leave it as one leaf itself or you can make a cluster of three leaves. So here I will show you how to make three leaves. So for the second leaf again chain four and into the fourth uh, chain from the hook make a slip stitch. And it is this um, center space where we will be working. So chain one and turn your work and this is the so find the center of this chain. So here this is the center part so this is where we'll be working so make two single crochets so we are repeating the same pattern two single crochets followed by two half double crochets followed by so two half double crochets followed by three double crochets followed by a chain two pico and three more double crochets and followed by two half double crochet then three single crochets three single crochet and we will be done with our second leaf here so this is our second leaf which is done so for the third leaf again make a chain of four and a slip stitch to the fourth stitch for the fourth chain and chain one Turn your work and find the center of the chain and into the space repeat the same pattern and make the third leaf.
now that we're done with the three leaves just uh, place the leaves such that all are in the correct position so this is our second leaf and this is a third leaf and turn it such a way that the last stitch faces the very first stitch so now we are going to first make a slip stitch so I'm going to insert my hook into the very first stitch here that is the chain one space and make a slip stitch here so after this I am going to uh, make one more slip stitch and this slip stitch will be at using the back loop of this first stitch and the front loop of the this front loop of this uh, first stitch of the second leaf now pull your yarn through all the three stitches so this way we have secured all the three leaves and now you'll see that there is this stem or this chain behind so into the third chain insert your hook and make a slip stitch so now we'll be making slip stitch into each of the chains here so insert your hook into the next chain and make a slip stitch so you can make a slip stitch over each of the chains till you uh, reach the base of the chain so continue making these slip stitches over the stem or over this uh, chain and once you reach the base you can see that there is this other side of chain on which we do not have any slip stitch so into these three stitches uh, three chains as well insert your hook and make three slip stitches so so this is the last one make a slip stitch here and now make a slip stitch through under the uh, ring here of the strawberry so make the last slip stitch here to secure it tightly and then chain one pull the yarn tight and trim this off so here the steel yarn you can stitch it in like i showed before using a needle or a crochet hook and here our strawberry pattern is done so this one has a longer stem uh, the red one has a longer stem compared to the pink one I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notifications. Also give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.